Good morning, guys. So today I'm hopefully gonna tackle a project I've been putting off for an extremely long time and finally getting around to do it. So let me show you what I got. So this is my old work boat and it's been needing a new tire. Well, it's been needing new tires for a while now because uh, these are probably well over 10 years old and they're starting to crack and dry rot and everything else that happens to tires and uh, this one finally can't basically was having a slow air leak and I wasn't staying on top of it all the air came out of it the bead broke loose which you can see I had put some like black silicone or something like that to seal the beads so it's gonna get all new tires today and I'm gonna see if I can do it all by myself. Um, both, you know, pulling the tires off the old rims and putting new tires on. So we'll see how that goes. All right, so I got the tire, the old tires off and it's kind of a cool morning today. So I um, just letting them heat up in the sun a little bit to hopefully make them a little more pliable, but these are the new tires I'm going to be putting on. Um, got some Carlisle USA Trail. These are actually see right there. Made in the USA. Um, I was going to get three of those, but I didn't have enough money at the time. I got them off Amazon, so I got a cheaper Sport Trail um, for a spare. Um, and I mean, not, hopefully not going to use it that much if I ever have to use it, but this one is a, where's it at? This basically is a, uh, Chinese and you can see, so they're both 4.8-8, but the two, uh, USA trails are much, much taller tire. Well, we'll see if it expands once we put air in them, but we'll see how it goes. Alright, so hopefully you guys can see this okay, but the cardboard down so I don't tear up the galvanized rim. Um, basic idea is basically getting the inner bead of the tire over this edge here. Um, if you have a tire iron like this, they kind of have this flat edge on this side that specifically is for that. I also have a couple different big flathead screwdrivers to hopefully once I get it started basically walk it along the edge until I pop it off and then um then I have to get the other side of the tire off and then clean up the rim put the new tire on so get started with that got some soapy water here go ahead and just a little bit I'll just wipe it around side of it you have a squirt bottle that would work I didn't have a squirt bottle so we're just doing it like this just to help that rubber get over that metal so let's see how it goes got some gloves depending on how thickle this gets I might have to stand up Well, there we go, guys. The more you do something, usually the better you get at it. So this first one took me a little while. The second one took me not any time at all. Third one took me a little bit longer, but it was also like a brand new tire. So <sighs> anyway, now I'm gonna clean these rims up. Gotta clean all this 
rubber off the inside of these so I've got a nice sealing surface for the new beads on the tires and then uh, move on to putting the new well I gotta get these old valve stems out too and then um, move on to putting the new tires on for the valve stems I'm just gonna use a razor blade cut off this fat portion that's on the inside of the rim and pull it out All right, so I got all the rims cleaned up, mostly. Um, still a little bit residual, but then I went ahead and washed them off a little bit with soap and water. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and try to mount the spare first, and we'll see how that goes. So, move these guys out of the way. Pull the soap. this take valve stem tool screw it onto the end of it I get as far down as you can because these are low grain C tires. The ones I took off are low grain B. And uh, we'll see how much, how much harder it is to get these, these on. Guys, just wanted to bring you an update because it's dark now. I had to do some other things before I could get back to it. <coughs> Whew, what a pain in the butt. Um, this is the spare. I figured I'd do this one first because it's a cheaper tire if I screw it up, which I may have, getting it on the rim. So my plan is I'm probably going to go in the morning drop off my rims and other tires, the main tires, the tire shop, and let them do it. It is possible through a lot of effort and trial and error to get it on there, but I'm worried that one, I scratched the galvanized rims up, and then two, I, uh, skeeters, um, may have damaged the bead of the tire. So this one, I figured, oh, I'm gonna get it on there. And if it holds air, then great. I did it myself. Otherwise, crap, I'm gonna have to pull it back off there, buy another tire, go to the tire shop, Let's see how it goes. There we go. I got it. The seat, uh, the beads set, um, got 30 pounds in it. It said do not exceed 32 uh, when setting the bead. So I'm gonna let it sit overnight and see what the pressure is in the morning i might check it a little bit later tonight uh but i did one by myself oh my gosh it can be done but uh let's see all right guys next afternoon update i fully expected to be able to just go to the tire shop this morning drop the rim and tires off and just let them uh do their thing uh, but apparently the 4.8-8s are a relatively small tire and the rim won't even work with their tire machine. So went to a, um, like a mower repair shop and asked them, you know, if they could do it. And they said they could try, but they're going to do it by hand as well. It's $10 to do it. And I was like, well, I'm going to pay a guy $10 to try to do something exactly the same way that I had to do it yesterday. Then... I'm gonna give it a go myself. So, um, thought about buying some extra tools or anything else, but I'm just gonna try to 
take my time a little more and hopefully don't tear up one of these other tires. The spare, check the air pressure and it went from 30 to 25 overnight. Grant or in 24 hours, granted, you know, that could have just been due to, you know, just seeding the beads and um, eventually it's gonna hold pressure. I don't know, uh, but I put it up at 35. We'll see how it holds. And uh, if there is a leak, it's a very small one, but I'm gonna really take my time on these new tires and see how it goes. So, oh, wish me luck. I hope it goes easier than yesterday. <laughs> Holy crap, guys. No issue whatsoever. Um, let me show you what I did. I put electrical tape around the edge of the rim, just thinking that one, it was gonna protect the tire from the edge of the metal. And then two, if you feel the electrical tape, especially when you get that soapy water on it that you put on the tire, it is way more slick than the middle of the rim um that tire so i'll try to get some of the the next tire i just wanted to see if it worked before i wasted y'all's time but no issue whatsoever getting that tire on there wow <laughs> if they all worked like that right all right so just your regular run-of-the-mill electrical tape taking it on the edge of the rim and you know electrical tape stretches really well so just run it along the edge of the rim covers up all the burrs anything else that might be on the rim that could harm the tire and then it also creates a really slick surface so i'll uh break that off right there and it's not going to stick really well on the inside, but again, the inside isn't really what you're worried about. You're worried about the outside because that's what the tire has to go around. And uh, does it really well. So there's one side. It's the other side. Okay. And obviously, once you get the tire on there, you can take this electrical tape right back off. So it's, it's no issue. Putting it on there so there's my rim ready to go Let's get my tire soap it up real good and what i was doing yesterday that i think caused problems from the beginning with the spare that i was doing is that i tried to put the tire on the rim instead of putting the rim in the tire, if that makes sense. So I'm starting with the tire down. Also wear gloves because I tore my hands up yesterday on the rims. Tire down. And then try to put the rim in the tire. So you take an edge and you just kind of twist that edge. And I'm pressing in with my knee. There it goes. See, I got it started. You know, it's kind of, it's, you can feel it that it's in the tire. I'm just trying to complete this around this side of the rim. If I have to, I'll put a little more soaking water. I feel like I'm losing some, but man, that is so slick right there. I want that electrical tape. I think that's. I mean, if you could feel the difference, it's, it's big. So, I didn't, I don't know if I soaked the electrical tape this time I did last time, so maybe that was part of the issue getting started. And so, the way I'm pulling up on the tire and then the leverage I'm using, I'm actually pushing it back into the tire. If I can get my other, my little screwdriver. I don't know if that's going to do anything for me. I only needed two last time. I can see the edge of the tire working around it. There it is. There it is. All right, we got one side, right? 
Okay. There it is. Just push it around. Boom. Two trailer tires. Done. I mean, probably less than 30 minutes. So, electrical tape. Take it right off. And check the beads. See if there's any issues, which I don't. See this, I don't even, don't even bother. Just whatever side you're placing on, take that. You don't even have to tape both. But uh, way less rim damage than I did yesterday. And uh, I think even less tire damage, so it looks good. Looks good. Let's get these things seated up and be done with it. All right, there we go. Two seated trailer tires. I had to work a little bit to get the uh, the beads set, but uh, set now. That freaking yeah. USA made. Well, see, that's the thing. It's like these trailer tires, they want you to buy the rim and the tire. But the problem is usually when you get the rim with the tire, it's some cheapy tire. And I didn't want to do that again. And it's also wasteful. Like how many of these galvanized rims are you going to go through, you know, in a trailer's life? So the rims were fine. There's nothing wrong with them. So keep using them. Time to throw them on the trailer. You. Bam, bam, thank you, ma'am. Set up. 